Hello, hello everyone. Happy Sunday morning to you, or evening, or wherever you, whatever time of day it is in your part of the world. As you can see, I have with me Max Haver. Hello. <laughs> and I wanted to do this video because I've been seeing a lot of predictions about what's going to be happening in the next few months. And so many of them are gloom and doom. Hi, James. So many of them are, you know, explaining how the financial system is going to collapse and we need extra food and water and all of these, these horrible things are going to happen. And so while I understand that that is a very feasible timeline, that is very likely if we aren't in our power. Okay, so what I really want to talk with you about this morning is the difference we can make as light workers and the power of our creations. So thank you all for being with me this morning. I am a, just a little bit tired of seeing these predictions because it triggers in me this why aren't the light workers getting it and I'm a little bit passionate about this so you <laughs> have to <laughs> forgive my my passionate energy here but why aren't we getting it why aren't we understanding that we can create something totally different we don't have to experience the gloom and doom we don't have to experience the the financial collapse, the travesty, the, you know, all the things that channelers are predicting, all of the things that, um, you know, if you just, you know, read whatever news sources, you know, the predictions that are coming out saying the collapse is going to happen and, you know, all the fear mongering. Why are we allowing that to give us power? Why, you guys? Um, seriously, if you have insights about this, feel free to, to post them in the, in the comments below because what I know, what I know is the kind of power that we have to create something totally different. Of course, this is why I'm doing a creation temple so that those who want to join me in creating something much better, we can bring our powers of amplification together in this creation process and create heaven on earth rather than all the doom and gloom that's being predicted. So I'm curious, Max, if you have any insight about this. Well, what people are predicting is based on the energies that they're holding within themselves. And so as the energies are amplified and we step more and more into our power each individually, we're going to be manifesting with much greater ability. Yeah. And so people that are predicting and seeing things that Thank you, are not going to be maybe as enjoyable in right. their experience, you know, that's we, what they're holding in their energy and that perhaps what they will be creating in, in their experience. We talked about this in our apocalyptic disclosure video. Mm -hmm. um, maybe you could share a little bit about that and how that's influencing what people are experiencing right now uh, by influencing do you mean do you mean the um the outward experience or or, or the perception of, of what's to come um their perception of what's to come because our perception our perception creates our external experience hmm. okay so the energy that they are holding or that they're engaging with is what you are calling that fear-based narrative, right? Mm -hmm. So that would be a collapse of the financial system, um, you know, uh, police state, and you know, all, all the, the other, stuff. lots of wars and stuff. <laughs> right. And so that's what they're engaging with, and that's yeah. what they're giving energy, and and it's coming up to be cleared. That's what that's what all this energy is bringing up. It's this light shining on the shadow, yeah. and it's bringing up all this to be cleared and so this is part of being in that power is experiencing what is still what you're still holding in your field and releasing it and if you are still seeing others engage with it or reflect that 
to not be pulled out of centered by it. Huge. Which is part of part of the mastery. Yes. Huge. Yeah. I mean, we can talk about how some of our friends are so distracted and emotionally engaged with the political process that's happening in the U.S. right now. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you guys, you're missing the opportunity that's right in front of you to create something so amazing. Mm -hmm. Like, think about your emotional power, how powerful your emotions are. And if you allow yourself to be um, wallowing in certain emotions or you allow yourself to be distracted by certain things and you give it your emotional and energetic power, mm -hmm. that takes away from your power to create amazing things in your everyday life. Mm -hmm. And I, I feel like I come from a place of empowerment with this because I have created amazing life. I am creating an amazing life. And it's because... I have not allowed myself to be distracted by all the stuff that's happening out there. And it's not like I have my head in the sand. It's not like I don't know what's going on. It's because I know what's going on that I'm ultra committed and focused to creating something better. Mm -hmm. And being a super sensitive, deeply emotional feeler, I can feel all that stuff. Like there's no way I could put my head in the sand and ignore it because I can I can feel that it's going on out there. Mm -hmm. So what can we do? You know, I've been talking about the creation temple and how that's a place for our soul family to come together and amplify our creations of light. So if you feel called to join, I put the link at the top and you can join us in that venue. If you don't feel called to join, that's totally fine. Let's talk about things that you can do in your everyday life to shift the power from distractive emotions, this distraction, you know, of all the stuff that's mm -hmm. being predicted that's going to happen, to shift it back into your creations of light. So turn off the television. If you're, if you can't scroll through your Facebook feeds and ignore all the predictions, then get off Facebook. Except for these live videos, of course. <laughs> um, it has a lot to do with discipline, you know, being, being disciplined in your everyday life and also knowing your vision, being clear on your vision of what you're creating, because when you have the vision, you can commit yourself to that vision. Do you have anything else to add? Um, I, I would say that it's still important to feel what you need to feel as yeah. far as clearing, if, if yeah. it is your own energy or patterns that you're holding within your field that you need to clear yeah. in order to be in a clear space to create these things. I say that that, yeah. was, that is still very important. Absolutely. I'm so and, glad you said that. And to be discerning in what is yours and what is not yours to let go. Yeah. Yeah. And that's a big process and a journey, so don't be upset with yourself if you're not there yet. <laughs> it's taken me a long time to get there. Um, yes, understanding that whatever you are holding, whatever density you are holding within your being, that it is your responsibility to release and transmute that. No one else can do that for you. You can hire all the practitioners in the world, you can do all the coaching in the world, um, but until you look at yourself and really truly release mm -hmm. these these this heaviness these things of density mm -hmm. release and transmute them and when I talk about transmutation I'm talking about alchemy I'm talking about taking one substance and turning it into another mm -hmm. so something uh, a fear-based belief system you release that you turn it into love and light and then you integrate that mm -hmm. that love and light I like that you said truly release because there is yeah. there is some people that practice projecting their positive manifestation without actually clearing what they're still holding. Mm, good point. And so it's sort of a method of sweeping it under the rug. Yeah. I've seen I've seen yeah. certain you'll, practitioners do that. You'll yeah. know that you've released it when your external reality changes. Mm. If if you haven't released it, you'll keep creating the same thing over and over again. Uh, I, I would also say if it does come up, it wouldn't pull you out of center like it used to. Exactly. That That yeah. is a, a very big indicator as well. Yeah. So. so just as an example, for me doing this video, I actually feel very centered and very empowered, very passionate. <laughs> and when I talk about being triggered, I'm not talking about a trigger that 
gets me upset or pulls me out of my center. It's triggering this part of me that's like, whoa, we can change this, you guys. We can create something much better. And so that's... A call to action. That's a call to action. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So do you have anything else before we... Um, is there... What what is your vision that you're creating? Maybe you'd like um, to share. Okay, maybe Max you would like to, to ask share. Me this. <laughs> My vision of heaven on earth is where we all have cleared ourselves, mm -hmm. where we remember who we are as love and light, and from that place of alignment, we create beautiful gardens so that everyone has healthy organic food to eat. We we are creating from our power, from our sovereignty. So that as we share with each other, there are beautiful exchanges with each other. We don't need money to um, place a value or worth on what we're offering. We, we are just, you know, worthy in and of ourselves. And the exchanges that we have with one another are, are beautiful exchanges. So our waters are clean. Our air is clean. You know, Gaia is healed and, and Gaia is a Leowa as she moves into her ascension. Mm -hmm. And we are all, you know, in our ascension processes. So that's a, that's a peek into my vision of heaven on earth. Mm -hmm. So would you like to share your vision? Oh, that's, it's fairly similar. Okay. So. All right, I'm putting you on the spot. Okay, so what I would like to do is, before we part ways here on this video, is just to offer a few tones, um, just with the intention of transmuting any density that you're ready to release, stepping into your power, stepping into your sovereignty, so that you can truly create your version of heaven on earth. Yes, Laura, we are the change. <laughs> That's it. We're, we're it. So... Um, if anything's going to shift, it's, it's us that's doing it. Thank you, Larry. Thank you for sharing my vision. Okay, so I just invite you to open your hearts and receive as these tones come through.
Thank you for joining me this morning. Thank you, Laura. Thank you for embodying your own passion about your creations of light. Of course, if you feel called, I'd love, love, love to have you join me in the Creation Temple. In the month of October, we're going to meet four times online through Google Hangout on YouTube. We'll get to see each other as a soul family. We'll get to connect. We'll get to join up our visions of heaven on earth. And you'll get any coaching and support that you need in order to make it happen in your personal life and in your life as you serve the collective. So the link is at the top of this video, suzybyler.com slash creation temple. I do have scholarships available. These aren't free scholarships. You would still offer some sort of monetary exchange, um, but you can uh, go to the website and fill out a scholarship application if you have financial need. So lots of love, you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being with me this morning. I appreciate you, I love you. And whether or not you join the Creation Temple, I do hope that you will join my vision of creating heaven on earth. Much love. Mwah.